Okay guys, I want to tell you this small little tiny little story before um, we had to put the car into a pound, meaning that it got to get like crushed, right? Because it was too many accidents and apparently the people didn't want to fix it, right? So, let me tell you this story before we had to put it into the pound and it destroyed it, right? So, the car was a Jaguar, right? And it runs smoothly. It was a perfect Jaguar. It was an old brand of Jaguar, you know, the one with the little circle little eyes. But the owner who had it first, they designed it. So, up top of the roof, it was silver, right? On the bottom, it was like a black color, right? And then around it, it had like little, little um, lines around it, right? And then it had some words. I'm thinking it was C-R-L or something like that. I'm not too sure if it was like his, um, what's it called? His little renaissance on it. I'm not too sure. But the car was so cool, you know. Everybody wanted to take pictures. Every time my sister went out to a store or her college, someone always take pictures of it, you know. And it's usually funny. Because my sister would like just watch them take pictures of the car, like sit next to the car and pretend like that's their car, right? And I always thought it was a special car because it was pretty colors, you know. It was like a silver, black, and had the initials, right? It was pretty. So I already knew someone wanted to take pictures of it. I should have took pictures of it, you know. But um, I it did have a picture of it when it was with that other house she was living at. But apparently... I deleted it or it was not too many space on my um, on my thing there and it deleted so this is the story what happened before we had to destroy it so we was going I was gonna drop my sister to work right and she was like I'll buy y'all McDonald's right and I'm always for getting food right so she was like okay is a McDonald's right there right so I was like okay what you gonna get her she's like I'm gonna get you like a couple of Mac chickens you know and drinks right so i was like, okay so at the car at the time the car was messing up like the wheel whatever you know the thing there for the wheel that thing there to turn it for some odd reason i don't know if when my mom crashed it it messed up the wheel not the wheel like the you know like the wheel you drive with that one so for some odd reason it didn't want to turn it was totally hard to turn it right so I was going around, I we told them the order and everything, right? So we was going around to like the window area to pay, right? And apparently the car was, um, it was embarrassing me, you know, because it didn't want to turn. So I was too close to the wall and not too close to the window, right? So I was turning the car and apparently the car didn't want to turn. So at this moment, I'm struggling, like legitly struggling, turning the wheel, you know. Wheel didn't want to turn. For some odd reason, I, I feel say the car hated me, right? So apparently the lady was like looking for me to like, she looked, I was, she was like looking for me, you know. The car was on the opposite side, you know. It, the window's right here and the car is back here, you know. Still trying to turn, you know, I'm backing up, turning. There was nobody behind me or in front of me or anything like that, right? So it was difficult, you know, just to turn a wheel, you know. It was going very slowly and then it was like doing that jerk kind of motion, right? And I was like, oh my God, car, can you can you be more annoying? Can you be more embarrassing? Gosh, I'm trying to get some food and you being annoying and embarrassing to me, you know? So eventually I got closer, not that close to the window, but close enough, right? So the lady was talking to her colleagues, right, inside the McDonald's, right? And she was just laughing amongst herself, right? And saying, look at this car. It looks so beautiful, but it can't turn the wheel. It can't come closer to the um the window, right? So they laughing. She was like pointing at us, you know, and I was, I was getting embarrassed, you know, because the car looks so beautiful, you know, beautiful colors and everything. So... So she she was like laughing and she thought it was funny that the car couldn't move and turn and whatever, right? So I'm I'm like literally had to get out of my car. I didn't I was not even close to the the window, right? So I had to get out the car and get the food and give her my money, right? 
So I got back in the car and then she was trying to give me my money, right? And the change fell on the floor. And at this point, I was so over this, you know? I was like over this, you know? Like, screw the food. I don't even want it anymore. The lady's like laughing at us, you know? And I guess to her, Carly's thought it was so hilarious. They gave us a cookie, you know? They gave us a free cookie, you know? Just to making their day, you know? I didn't thought I made anybody's day because the car was being hella disobedient, you know? And I was like, why is you doing this car? You look so beautiful, why are you doing this? Why you can't turn your lap? You're a little behind towards the door, um, to the window, you know, so I could get my food, right? So she threw in a free cookie, you know, and I was like leaving there. And apparently when I was leaving, I can't even get out of the, the little, um, the entrance close to the window where I was paying, right? Apparently the car was like messing up at this point and I was like so over this, you know? I was like, we have to fix them or do something to them, you know? In my head, I'm like not throwing them in the garbage because he was so beautiful and such, you know? Apparently I couldn't even get out of the, um, the line, right? After a while, the car wanted to start. After we was leaving, the window. Guess what the car wanted to do? He wanted to be obedient, right? He wanted to move, right? So he was moving smoothly again. Apparently he didn't like that McDonald's shoes, right? So he was like, I ain't going nowhere, you know? I'll make you struggle and make you be embarrassed by me going slowly and not turning around in the corner, right? As we leaving, the car was moving smoothly, right? And I'm looking so embarrassed. At this point, my sister was giving me my food. I was like, I don't even want it at this point. The car embarrassed me, you know. She was like, did you know she gave us a free cookie? I was like, what? Give me that free cookie because I was like struggling with this goddamn car, right? So apparently, if you guys have like this kind of story that your car almost broke down close to um, a restaurant or a fast food restaurant and you went, you was so embarrassed at a point that you didn't want no food, but the people inside the restaurant felt so bad and it was making their day, they gave you free food, right? Apparently, I was happy that I got a cookie, but then I was like, why you have to embarrass me, car? You didn't have to do all this, you know? You did extra stuff, you know? And I didn't like that, how you did extra stuff, you know, by moving slowly around the corner of the line, right? Apparently, if you got these, if you have these kind of stories that your car almost broke down, you think it was breaking down, but apparently it was not breaking down because they didn't like the restaurant you was going to, comment down below because I really want to know, you know, because I, that's before we had to um, throw it away because it's pretty damaged and it was not moving in quarter to, to plan, right? I had this other story. This car was always trying to kill me at some point in my life, you know, at some point, you know. There was some other stories here and there, you know, but I'm not gonna tell it here because that's like too much information for one video. So, like and subscribe to any notifications and thumbs up. Bye!